Happy Sunday. Today my morning exercise looks like a walk with the puppy before church. Good morning friends, happy Sunday. Welcome back to Whit Family Fit. We decided we'd do a day in life today because it's been a little while since we did one. Um, I'm just making my coffee. Brenton usually on Sunday mornings goes and grabs my Starbucks while I get the kids ready for church. They're eating breakfast right now. Uh, when I make my coffee, I do eight ounces unsweet vanilla almond milk, a decadent chocolate, op decadent chocolate Optivia brownie mix. I shake that up and I pour it over a double espresso, then to cup extra ice. And sometimes, please don't move that. <laughs> Our kitchen island moves and it's annoying. And sometimes I top it with some good morning. You say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> He's the husband of the year for going to get my coffee. I love him for that. And he never complains about how many times I want to go to Starbucks a week. I think his quote was once, if it costs me $2.76 a day to have a skinny wife, I'm game. Isn't that what you said? Whoa, I never said anything about that. Or a confident wife, maybe. Maybe you said confident. Because I didn't start drinking coffee till I was on Octavia. But a happy wife. A happy wife. Okay. He's very supportive no matter what my weight is. But what did you say? You got Okay, you got to tell him this. I'm going to turn it around for him for a second. Give him your Sunday morning wisdom on the confidence talk we had the other day. You and I. You said you noticed what about me at the pool. Oh, hey, it's a baby. Can't twist it. Hold on, Bubba. Daddy's filming. Just a second. Okay, we'll get you some more. Hold on. Daddy's filming. Why did you be? Okay, thank you. Daddy's filming. I told her, asked her yesterday, I said, was it nice to be able to feel confident in a swimsuit? For, say good morning. Because as long as we've been married, well, I guess Even before we were married, probably. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen her be able to confidently walk around in a swimsuit. And I noticed yesterday uh, while we were at the pool that there she was no inhibitions um, about her, or from her about herself. And I can't say that I've ever seen her like that before. So that was really, really cool as a husband uh, to see your wife that confident. So. When, so, you, when you take care of yourself, when you feed yourself the right way, fuel yourself the right way, treat your body right, take care of yourself, um, because yes, self-care is important. Um, um, the, the, uh, the, the consequences of your actions are seen by all around you, uh, whether that's positive or negative. So, from my husbandly perspective, it was really, really cool to see that from her. Bye, We're going to bring them along on our day. I just, want to do it I just made my coffee. See, who wouldn't want this every day? It's pretty good. It's so good, and it's on plan. Guys, once again, eight ounces of unsweet vanilla almond milk. This island moving is really a problem. It's like on wheels. Why you would put a kitchen island on wheels, I don't know. We're renting the house. Anyway. Um... We're going to church and then we're going to take our foster love, our previous foster love who's been with us for the weekend home to his parents today. And then we're going on the boat. We are going on the boat. So my dad owns a big pontoon boat and they invited us out to the lake. We're like, heck yeah, let's go. And we're bring, we're in charge of the food because we're bringing, um, and I'm in charge of the food. You are. We're bringing all the leftovers from our healthy happy hour. There were a lot of leftovers. <laughs> Look, Brenner, please stop you gotta put yourself there. in the room even if no one shows up okay <laughs> we'll try again next time but all that to say we have a lot of lean and green approved appetizers and beverages that we're gonna take on the boat we're gonna go get these crazies ready for right. church we made it in the car as i like to say who works harder on sunday mornings <laughs> the devil himself the devil himself and we had a minor amount of yelling my hair is a hot mess today i was a little frustrated by that it is 8.49. We still have 11 minutes to get to church. We are going locally. So we will make it. If it shows you how my morning has been, I've been sipping on this coffee for over an hour. But we've got all five babies. Braxton is, um, I guess we should have said that earlier. Braxton went with a friend to Arkansas um, for like a little, I don't know, cabin trip, something. Yeah. They did like, I don't know what they were doing. They were going to the woods. Perfect boy thing for a 10 year old boy. So he's living it up doing that. So we have our previous foster son with us. And so we're going to see how church goes today with a an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a ten, nine-month-old. <laughs> Wish us luck. But the two-year-old is actually very good and very quiet. He doesn't scream. He just kind of sits there and looks at you. Yes, he behaves better than the four-year-old. That's very true. So we're going to go do that. And uh, we'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm assuming church is going to be about an hour and 20 today. So they, they do really good until like 50 minutes. And then when there's still no end in sight, they start losing it. 
We're not going to start out in the toy room because I have a firm belief that children need to be in church. Otherwise they don't know how to, they don't learn how to sit there. Like it's, it's practice. Um, we've been so wordy on this vlog today already. Mm -hmm. It's cause we haven't picked up the camera in forever. We have so much to tell you guys. We have a lot of fun content coming though. So much fun content. This next week's going to be kind of a push because we have VBS and Brenton's got his first week of summer workouts, but then we are taking an epic family vacation to Chicago and we're gonna vlog the whole thing. So we're going to Memphis the first night, St. Louis the second night, then Chicago for what, five days? Something like that. Something like that. My sister has all the things planned. She and my brother live there. They gave this trip to the kids for Christmas. So we are looking so forward to this trip. So lots of good vlogs coming. Today we're going to the lake. That should be some fun footage too. So thanks for following along so guys. we don't lose the uh, phone in the water. I'm not gonna lose the phone in the water. Okay, <laughs> knock on something because <sighs> he has no faith in me. All right, guys, we are on our way to the boat and the lake. We got a bunch of sleeping babies back there. This is the nicest car ride ever. It's very quiet. <laughs> this last 10 minutes. We were just actually sitting here reflecting. It is 11 years married this Saturday yeah. coming up. So uh, six, days from, six days from now, we'll be married for 11 years, which is crazy. Um, we were just saying we'd go back and do it all over again if we could. We love it. We're um, super blessed. But anyways, um, it took us a little while to get food ready. So our hope and health, or our happy, healthy, what am I saying? Healthy, happy hour the other night was super fun to prepare for, but a total flop. Not a flop, because like people in our mentorship team say, you always have to put yourself in the room, but no one put themselves in our room. <laughs> no one came to it. So we had a lot of food left over. So all that to say, I made a bunch of food to bring to the lake. So we're gonna do like a little redo. So I've got buffalo chicken dip, um, turkey meatballs um, with sugar-free barbecue sauce. I have taco dip. I have a bunch of different veggies, fresh veggies cut up. I have some mozzarella basil tomato salad. What else did I bring? Oh, I made like four different mocktails to sip on the boat. So I'll show you guys all that when we get it set up. But this will be really fun. I'm really excited and um, we were just sitting here talking about all the good things we have coming up in the next few weeks. It's gonna be busy, but figured we'd bring you guys along. We both had feeling number three. I had another brownie and coffee, don't judge. Um, and then we had peanut butter bars at church. So I think our lean and green is gonna be when we get on the boat, probably like three o'clock. We're gonna do like our lean and green because this food is ready to eat. And then we'll probably just have a fueling or two fuelings after that for the rest of our night. So it's kind of cloudy, but we're hoping that it's still going to be fun. It's 91, still 91. degrees, it'll still be <laughs> so nice. it'll be good. Um, clouds may not be that bad of a deal. Right? To keep us, I'm allergic to sunscreen, so hence my tan here, but um, I can't really wear sunscreen. I'm supposed, I got this Rodan Field sunscreen to try, so we'll see how that works out. But anyways, I don't remember what I got on here to say, but just an update, day in the life. So we are hunkered down in the car, waiting to see what happens out of nowhere, like we were literally loading the boat. My in-laws were trying to dock it and this like storm blew up. And we literally have been checking the radar every five seconds cause it looked like, look at the sky. I mean, it looked like it was gonna rain. You can see the storms you build there, the them. clouds building, but it was still saying but zero percent, zero percent, zero percent, zero percent. And like nothing on and the we radar. We, we had the cooler like on, on the on dock. The dock. I just ready, brought the they kids were pulling up. In. We were waiting for another, another boat to load and take off so they could pull in and pick us up. And then boom, the wind shifted. Showing the radar now. And uh, north of us has some pretty good storms, but. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna blow by. Like we're just gonna hang out in the car until it blows by. And like even people on jet skis are going back out now. I don't really know why that seems kind of like a stupid idea, but um, they, it's too windy for them to dock the big pontoon boat. So they're, just, they're just out there just headstrong and <laughs> wait for it to blow by. I mean, by. it's crazy. I'm gonna turn the phone around so y'all can see like big waves. It was literally no wind and then it was like 30 Ooh. mile an hour wind. And thankfully I had just brought the kids up to put their life jackets on because I wouldn't let, oh, it's lightning big. I wouldn't let them um, on the dock without their life jackets and they were up at the car. So I had literally just brought them up there and put their life jackets on and the wind just came out of nowhere. So thankfully I just quickly got them all back in the car. The baby was on the dock with Brenton. So hopefully, he, I mean, thankfully he got up here quick, but all these cars are coming up to try to dock their boats. It's going to blow through in like 10 minutes. Like it'll be fine. We can still go out, I think, but, um, no, they're fine. Hey, they're going to be they're fine. fine. They Look, the clouds are already lightening up that way. Yep. Anyways, never dull moment in the winter. We're playing for a little bit because the game warden said he still wouldn't go out on the lake yet. It's definitely smooth since he told us that though, but we came out to sit by the playground and show you what I brought. So we've got 
Um, Octavia Lean and Green taco dip. We've got Octavia Lean and Green meatballs and buffalo chicken dip. A bunch of veggies. The kids have some chips. We have this uh, mozzarella tomato salad that is like so good. And then these little cucumber bites. So that was our spread. So yummy. random storm that like blew up it kind of back builds it's supposed to stay way well north of us and then the wind flipped i mean this is like as we were getting on the dock like dad was pulling the boat in we we're about to load up and go and then the wind flipped and then just yeah. oh, they couldn't even dock it was it. it was like they they ended up being stranded out on the lake for a couple hours so we uh had to get back in the car yeah and then of course people had to go potty of course and, you know so we made a mad dash for the outhouse and then finally ended up taking our picnic out to like a little park nearby. We ate our lean and green. Play a little bit. Um, and then that it was good. Down enough to, for mom and dad to at least dock the boat so they yep. come. They docked the boat and came and joined us for our picnic. And They're both on plan two. There, so. And then finally, probably about 5.30 maybe, yep. we got to get back out on the lake. And um, so we rode around for a couple hours and then it was a little trouble getting the boat onto the, what's that thing called? The trailer, I guess. Yeah. We had a little, it took like 30 minutes to do that. But it's about eight o'clock, we're in the car on the way home. I'm definitely looking forward to that brownie when I get home. I know I haven't drank enough water today, so I need to drink a couple of bottles tonight yet. Um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and say peace out on this vlog. We got some tired kids in the back. You guys say hi. Did you have fun on the boat? No. No. Oh, Brenner. Okay. We will see you guys later. Thanks for following along.